Many professionals use Excel's VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions frequently to match data criteria and extract values based on those criteria. Sometimes lost in the shuffle, though, is Excel's LOOKUP function, which can perform many of the same tasks as VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. However, LOOKUP also possesses some distinguishing features, including the ability to streamline the process of performing advanced calculations. In this tip, you will learn how to take advantage of this very important feature. Now in its most basic form, LOOKUP works almost identically to a VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP function. For example, the formula containing the LOOKUP function currently pictured on screen operates almost the same as a VLOOKUP function. In this case, it is used to look up the value from cell C2 in the first column of the range of F2 through G9. When it finds that value, or the closest match that does not exceed the lookup value, it returns the corresponding value from the last column of the lookup range. Of course, in practice, you could build a formula such as the one previously pictured and copy it down for as many rows as necessary in order to identify the commission due on each transaction in the data set. After doing so, you could create a formula with a sum or a subtotal function to add together all of the commissions due. Alternatively, though, you could simplify this process greatly by using some of the real power available with the lookup function. With column D now hidden, understand that unlike VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, you can use lookup to find multiple items in the same formula. In other words, you can use lookup to perform many lookups within the same formula. When you use lookup in this fashion, you are building an array formula, so remember you must use a control plus shift plus enter sequence instead of a simple enter keystroke in order to complete the formula. Continuing with the previous example, suppose what you are mostly interested in is the total amount of commission due and that you do not need to see the amount due on each sale. In that case, instead of building formulas as described previously, you can build a single formula to provide the answer you are seeking. More specifically, the formula currently shown on screen, which includes a lookup function, has been entered into cell G11. Notice that this single formula can replace the multitude of formulas otherwise necessary to summarize the total amount of commission due on the transactions under consideration. Keep in mind, though, that if you elect this option, you are working with an array formula and you must use the Control, Shift, and Enter sequence in order to complete the formula. And when you do that, Excel automatically inserts the braces on both ends of the formula for you. Excel's lookup function goes largely unnoticed with most Excel users opting for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP instead. However, that does not mean that you should ignore lookup altogether. In fact, as demonstrated here, lookup's ability to act on an array makes it a very powerful option and one that could substantially streamline the process of performing certain types of calculations in Excel. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.